A, look at A, I'm gonna restrict A. You're not gonna have an Instagram account. Like Parents, where are the, where are the parents at? Where they at? Yo, 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 yo. We are the Levi's Wild Guys. Check out the full podcast. Link below. The New York City mayor, Eric Adams, says that social media is an environmental toxin. Damn. You know, Eric Adams is an interesting figure. Black, you know, New York City mayor. Um, and saying you're a New York City mayor is equivalent to saying, like, you're pretty much a governor. Th that job is, like, very, very high quality job. Eric Adams is a new mayor, maybe, like, two years. Mm -hmm. uh, he mentioned drill music. He did. Right? He said a couple comments about drill. Drill is the reason why violence is happening in New York. That was right? very controversial. Yeah. And uh, now this. It seems like he's a people's mayor, but then at the same time, He's making some hard line stances that, you know, I do think raise questions. I think this might be one of his more bold comments. Mm. So first off, do you agree with what he has to say? And then I guess the next thing would be, do you think he should have said it? I thought this was super interesting because we've heard for years now, especially as like social media has become more prevalent, mm. more studies have come out talking about the impact of the negative impact of social media specifically on kids in terms of mental health, mental well-being. I I kind of like this, yo. Like I like the concerted effort of government saying that a tool like social media is harmful in this manner because let's be honest. There I think there's a point here to be made that there is negative downsides of social media for the well-being of kids whether it's your social anxiety whether it's how you ingratiate into like your groups and peers right like social media has created a bunch of awkward individuals you're skating how, how so you're skating a little bit what, what am i saying what you am gotta i gonna say it do you think social media government should regulate social media this has been something that i've always thought about I think that social media should not be regulated. Mm. I don't believe that. Okay. That's a that's a fine line. That you, that's mm. like overstepping boundary as government. In terms of social media, I don't believe that. Don't you know why? Right. Because I need to see more definitive stats that suggest that teenagers are being impacted at a, at a level to where they need to be involved. I do. And also, why stop at teenagers? Mm. Why why are we not why are we not uh, uh, putting it to people who are Adults. 19 well because 19 is a teenager yeah but yeah. they're over 18 but you know what they mean it bothers me when government has to step in for a role that parents should be mm. introducing Preach. their kids it bothers me Preach. it truly bothers me Preach. every time i hear like the government stepping in for things that i feel like parents should be saying yo hey, hey yo hey you little johnny get off that tablet yeah. hey look hey i'm gonna restrict hey you're not gonna have an instagram account like parents where are the, where are the parents at where they at? Well, I do think I do think you do need regulations, but it shouldn't be quite like like, for instance, you know, <clears throat> remember back in the day they had the TV, you know, TV would turn off if it got to like TV 14. Yeah. Like they <laughs> had that tool. It, it, you have sh you shouldn't make options. OK. Which there are options out there. So I'm, I'm OK with those type of regulations. I'm going to go a different angle here. Talk to me. So for the beginning of time, there was this theory that you know, the NBA is going to be a bigger league than the NFL. And they're like, if you look at the numbers, the NBA, the kids love the NBA, this, this, that. And then there's the NFL argument is like, look at the TV ratings, bro. TV rating says it's not even close. NFL gets 10 times better TV ratings than the NBA, which is true, right? So recently there was a user on Twitter that posted something that said, look at all you guys in the NFL. Look at look at y'all talking about the NFL is bigger, but the NBA social media reach, NBA has 72 million followers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you look at, at combined Instagram, Twitter, yeah. the NFL is 24 million. They have triple the social media following. Then the NFL on the flip side is like, bro, our Christmas, our one Christmas game, got 10 times more than all the Christmas games the NBA did combined on TV ratings, right? You mean the NFL did? NFL. Yeah. NFL. yeah. Right. NFL's response was, well, social media is not real life. 
when I heard that, I was like, is TV ratings really the best measurement of what real life is? Or is social media the best <laughs> measurement for what real life is? If you would have told me this 10, 15 years ago, I'm like, yeah, social, yeah, right. Social media is not real. Like whatever numbers you see inflated, social media, it, that's no, no. Then again, you're looking like most people are on social media. Most people are cutting cable. So when you say, oh, 27 million people watched NFL on TV, a lot of it's older people. Older mm-hmm. people are no, on for social sure. media. More people are on social media, Look. especially kids. My observation is the line between what's real life and social media is as blurred as it's ever been. Social, We need to start considering social media as real life. Okay, so that is real life. You go on a different step. I, I, I got to take my... So I got to take what I said earlier to another another level, actually. There are harmful elements of social media. We got to not look at social media like Instagram, okay? Mm-hmm. We, we're in the future now. Mm-hmm. What about VR? What about AI? Mm-hmm. They're, they're, like, these words are being used as buzzwords, but they mm-hmm. are part of that whole ecosystem. Okay. When you go to virtual reality, there's people who are literally losing their minds in that field and they've mm-hmm. forgotten about real life. Mm-hmm. I do think that that's bad. Human beings the the to day, lose themselves in that sort of environment. But at the end of the day, you get if, what I'm trying to say? That's the norm. Social media is the norm. I, it's, all, it's been the norm for about 10 years. You're right. Mm-hmm. But and maybe, maybe, maybe regulation is good at a certain level, just not about just not to uh, an overuse of it right like mm-hmm. we think about it alcohol mm-hmm. you gotta be 21 to buy right mm-hmm. yep beer 21 to buy right all TV, of that tv's reg- reg- regulates no ballistic but no ballistic to what is now being labeled environmental toxins and public health issues mm-hmm. that's essentially what they're saying so mm-hmm. now they're saying that for alcohol right mm-hmm. Alcohol is not banned. There's regulation behind it. There's mm-hmm. you got to be 21 to, to 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 use it. They don't necessarily say how much you can drink. They just say don't operate it behind a vehicle mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. at this level. You can go to jail. So I do think okay, if there's an ability to to create a, a certain regulation where it's like okay, this age level can use it, but you can't use it while you're driving. Like I don't know what they can do, bro. I, I don't have all the answers. I just know that I don't want to overregulate. That's my whole point about it being real life. Yeah. How do you regulate somebody's life? It's tough. That's what social media has become. This is this person's life. Is that a problem though? So is that a problem um, though? To you, I mean, in your opinion. Yeah, I mean, I, I I do think it's a problem because at the end of the day, it's not completely your mind. It's not completely your brain. The biggest issue with Instagram is you get to see what everybody else is doing. And that's where the mental part, you know, starts to F people up. How many people do you see show you, oh, they're active when they're in Tulum. <laughs> oh, they're active when they're on beaches and yeah. talking about the vacation and how nice their vacation looks. Whether subconsciously or consciously, you get affected by that. You look and you're like, my life don't look like that. I'm not on a beach right now. I'm feeling dusty. And so that's the biggest issue. But you're never going to be able to not see that i can see the uh, ability to regulate but i don't want to go too far like bro uh and we're gonna get into regulate it we're we gonna i would but just to a certain level it has to be like simple regulation maybe age driven maybe what they can do is attach people's id to people's uh, uh account for sure, for sure. kind of like they were trying to do on x or twitter i don't know i don't know bro it has to be regulated to me because tiktok is very dangerous because you don't choose the videos that you get to see right you just swipe up you can see somebody get shot. Like everything is happening. Back in the day when we had MySpace, just because of technological limitations, you couldn't see certain things. Sure. Like you had to download videos back in my day. Of right? course. <laughs> back in my day. Back in my day back too. Back in my day. Honestly, this is why I say social media is real life now or it's leaning towards that way. Social media has bullies. Social media has simps. People that are trolls. Social media has old people cousins sometimes that's the only way you talk to your cousins and friends and things like that social media literally has everything your real life has actually it has more than your real life because in your typical real life if you ask me what do i do in my real life oh majority of the time, i'm just gonna sit here in my house i'm gonna go to work sit here in my house watch tv eat and i'm good social media shows you all the other stuff i saw a breakfast club interview and he said this many times kevin gates was on there talking about he wanted to, he wanted to commit suicide 
Mm. And he said that one of the key triggers for him was social media. He was seeing other people's lives. He wasn't happy where he was. Yeah. And he legit yeah. was about to take his own life. And then he saw one of his fans and somehow it it, it changed his, his mind. And he said, yo, damn, I really have real people that rock with me in the real world. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I do agree that certain people can get lost in the sauce of what social media is. And I just, I do see the dangers of it all, but I do think over-regulation might be a bad thing. But we'll see what happens. You're right to for to speech. Or That's right. free speech. And I think free speech. Yeah. And I think that plays here. It Imagine is. somebody being like, why are you regulating something where I can talk freely? Yeah. Right? So, like, so, it's it's tricky, dog. It's really, really tricky. Some serious stuff. You guys let us know in the comments. Is social media as bad as New York City Mayor Eric Adams says it is? Mm. Or is it not? Listen to the full episode. Link below.